The microphone you're listening to right now is the Shure SM7B, a $400 dynamic XLR microphone, and it's currently going through like a Behringer interface. But this microphone, the one we're going to be talking about today and comparing it to, which will luckily focus, this is the Mayono microphone. This microphone I covered about, I don't know, maybe six months ago or so. This is the cheapest microphone that I've ever covered. And actually, it's not the worst microphone because those are the Walmart microphones, and I think I actually threw it away because it's that bad. Know your place, trash. Anyway, this microphone is, I think it was $25. We're gonna pop some B-roll of how much this one is. But today we're gonna compare $400 microphone, industry standard SM7B compared to the uh, the $25 condenser USB microphone that doesn't have a mute button and it has a gain knob. That's really cool. Anyway, let's just do a really quick mic comparison. And we're gonna talk about the value proposition between a budget mic and this microphone. But you know what else I can tell you about? The sponsor of this video. This video is brought to you by Lightstream. Lightstream is a cloud-based streaming service where you can stream directly from your console to Lightstream and then they will re-encode your stream with professional overlays. Things like stream elements, Maker.gg, a whole bunch of things like videos and graphics you can put onto your stream and never have to use a streaming PC to do these things. Right now, you can get 25% off your first three months by using my coupon code DarkendCyrus. So make sure you go ahead and visit the link in the description to go ahead and order this. And thank you to Lightstream. For sponsoring this video. We're going to get right into the sound samples, but before we do that, I just want to quickly make sure you understand that these microphones will not sound nowhere near close to each other in the way that they just kind of present themselves. Not because one's great and one's bad, but because they're two different types of microphones. This one is what's called a dynamic microphone, and it actually brings sound in by it being activated by sound. This is a condenser microphone, and it is always hot and basically receives a constant amount of voltage to keep that line active. So, condenser microphones actually give a more true to life sound and this is going to be your more kind of like accurate sound of what you would hear when you're talking to someone a dynamic microphone is really good at rejection just get out of here you stupid dumb animal <laughs> and actually pulls all of the sound out from around it because it's activated by speaking into the sensor or kind of around to the side of it that's where it's active and that's also called a cardioid pattern. That's a whole bunch of terminology, but just know that when you're buying a microphone, there are more things to understand other than buying a microphone. Is it dynamic condenser? What kind of polar pattern? Cardioid? Is it omnidirectional? Make sure you're looking at those things and I'll provide a resource down in the description for you to go ahead and take a look at to break down those terms. It's a really awesome thing and I used it to teach students at the high school I was at the difference between the two and the polar pattern. So we'll put it down there. So let's get into some sound samples and let you listen to the Mayono mic and the SM7 and B. We don't have to do it as a blind thing because you're going to be able to instantly hear the difference. However, we're going to pop it up. We've been hearing this, so we're going to go ahead and do the Mayono mic sound test first and then switch back to this. This is a sound test of the Mayono microphone and this $25 microphone is a condenser microphone and you're probably hearing a lot more room sound in this microphone compared to the SM7B because this is a condenser microphone and the way that it actually receives that audio and actually uses it is different because of the capsule being a condenser microphone rather than a dynamic microphone like the SM7B. But for $25, this is the sound that you can achieve really easily with a budget microphone. And now let's jump over to the SM7B and do a sound comparison to that microphone. All right, this is a sound test from the SM7B. I'm currently about three inches away from the capsule. And again, this is a dynamic microphone and it's going to reject sound a little bit better based upon how that capsule works. It actually only activates the capsule once it's receiving sound above a specific threshold built in by the mic tuned and also how much gain you're sending to it and so that's what this microphone sounds like the sm7b compared to the mayono mic so what were your thoughts the Mayono mic or the SM7B? What's the microphone that you think sounds the best? This is a $400 microphone. I think it's been on sale for $369. Nice. <laughs> and before you really answer that, jump down in the comments and I want you to tell me what were your first impressions when you listened to the $25 Mayono mic compared to the $400 SM7B? Was the difference in quality, that's what I really want, I want you to think of, the difference in quality. Do you think it was a $300 $75 difference. And 
go ahead and drop that down there but let me just go ahead and answer that question from my perspective and i've covered a bunch of microphones on this channel so just know i have i guess a little bit of knowledge on how that goes but from my perspective 25 dollar microphone can produce the quality that you heard still clear still clean still something that can be used on a live stream or in broadcast or podcast situations and it still produces that amount of sound and that amount of quality that still is just flipping amazing so if I'm talking about the value proposition between a microphone like this, the SM7B, to the Mayono mic, I'm going to recommend to a budget buyer to go pick up something that is maybe the Mayono mic if the budget is that low, or I'm going to recommend them something like the Fifine K688 that has an XLR as well as a USB-C connection, and that one's like 80 bucks compared to 25 but there are much better options than going for something that you get this, then you got to have an inner interface to plug into it and if your interface isn't powerful enough then you'll need something like a cloud lifter or just buy an interface that powers it like the wave xlr either way you're gonna have you're gonna be in 500 dollars 550 just to get this microphone to plug into your computer and to work compared to 25 bucks plug it in if it breaks oh well if you upgrade did you really lose much and always be a backup mic so would I recommend the Mayona mic? I recommended it in my original review, which I'll go ahead and put somewhere. I think it's that side. I'm looking at my monitor. I think it's that side. If you want to go take a look at that original review, there's some other comparisons to microphones in that video. But really what I'm trying to say in this is just because it's not the industry standard SM7B does not mean that there's not value in a microphone like this. So take a look at it. Don't roast it too hard because it has one single LED like up here in the top. Boom. Roasted. <laughs> It is not the most attractive microphone, but it will go on a boom arm, which is really cool. And I recorded it about three inches away. So just, just know both of them are recorded. Like if I go to the side, like this is how I'm speaking to the SM7B. That was about what I did with the Mayono. So just know that that's the case. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Consider subscribing. That's all up to what y'all want to do. But um, if you want to make sure you see even more videos, check out the original Mayono video. I'll put that right here. And uh, yeah, I was at the old house before this setup. Pretty cool. Loving this. Uh, new office tour, like part two coming. Part one's already up. Part two coming. Um, it's really cool. You're going to see all the toys that my son leaves out and a new TV that's on the wall. All right, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Have a good day.